Hi, I'm Bob Martin. I'm the executive director of the Presidio Theater. Welcome back. Uh, this is another one of our dreams from the Presidio Theater series that we're doing with wonderful artists from the Bay Area. Today, uh, an old friend, a musician extraordinaire, uh, a, a renaissance man. I think I would call him a renaissance man. Uh, Joshua Raul Brody. Hey, Joshua. Hi, Bob. How are you, man? It's great to be here. I'm really glad to be part of this project. Thank you. I'm so happy you said you would. So tell me, um, during this period, have you had a dream or is there a story you want to tell? Or tell me what you're feeling. Tell me what's going on. The actual dreams I've been having at night are uh, your classic, complicated, surreal things, inexplicable things, metaphors, and involving people that you and your uh, wide audience probably have never heard of. Um, but when you asked me to talk about my dream, I thought about the other meaning of dream, and that's um, my hopes for what this is going to look like when it's over. It's not going to be over. This is the beginning of something new. And there are some aspects of the old normal that I really, really miss. Um, I'm a musician and music is about being in the same room as somebody. You can make recordings and you can listen to recordings at home. Um, that's not the same thing as being a live musician, uh, making music with other people uh, in a band or accompanying a singer or providing live accompaniment for uh, theater, which is one of the main things I do, especially improvisational theater. Uh, and I've been trying to do that at home through this uh, technological uh, kludge that we've got. It's not the same thing. One of the things Presidio Theater wants to be about is really honoring and working with the great artists that have made San Francisco their home and have done extraordinary work based on being here. And I think we've all felt that with the technological revolution, as, as many good things as broad, it's changed the nature of San Francisco as a city, soul of San Francisco in ways, and this is going to do it even more. What's going to happen on the other side? I mean, in terms of what this city can be, uh, what we as, 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 as creative people can be, how we're going to have to interact with technology and maybe in a way it gives us an opportunity to even have a larger stage i mean what's that going to look like how are we going to how are we going to keep the soul i'm not going to go gentle into that good night <laughs> there's so much that san francisco has meant to me that i'm not willing to let go of i first came here when i was 12 years old with my parents and I felt like I had lived here before in a prior life. I knew my way around the city I'd never been to before. And then when I came back when I was 19 to live for as a, a citizen, I knew it, it was like I'd always lived here. I, was, I felt at home. I felt um, the whole arts community was so welcoming and so exactly what I was looking for. And I grew up in New York and New York is an amazing resource, but it's so effortful to live there. San Francisco, it's a pleasure to be here. And that, that flavor is something that I still taste in being here. As much as it's changed, as much as the economy has changed, as much as the demographics have changed there is still that flavor of San Francisco is delicious. And I'm not going to let go of that. Um, in the 80s, Rick and Ruby were invited to move to Los Angeles because that's where uh, the industry was. And I couldn't do it. I was working, I had a day job for a while in a law office. Great place to make money. Not a place I'd like to live. And Los Angeles is like that for me. There's nothing in Los Angeles like the right spot, the bar at 17th and Folsom, where anytime I go in there, I'm guaranteed of running into somebody. I, I'm not a big drinker. Just as a social place, as a clubhouse, I'm guaranteed of running into somebody either I know or somebody I'd like to know. Um, the Cowl. The Presidio. 
these are places where the work that I want to see gets done. It's not just uh, a, a, a place of employment. It's a center for the work that I'm interested in. And I'm not going to let go of that vision. There's other things that we can do that we can add to. You know, people thought photography was going to put painting out of business. People think rap, that's not really music. That's, you know, there are different art forms. It's presented in the same delivery system, but it's a totally different medium. Totally different art form, completely valid, different. People are discovering television, people are discovering YouTube, people are discovering TikTok, people are discovering all the new platforms of narrative and active art. And those are all great, but they're not a replacement. And what I need right now is, is, is a little bit of that. Is it, it possible that you could play a little music before we go? I would love to. beautiful. Thank you, my friend, so much. Thanks, Bob. Stay well out there and don't be too safe. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs>